And I will definitely be standing out of the way when we press it up. Oh, God. This, this could be bad. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody is well. So the truck performed fine today. Um, going to work. Um, no issues, no cooling out of it. I mean, I wasn't hard on it or anything, but everything seems fine. The overflow bottle seems to be uh, uh, about what it was before um, last night. So no real update there. I also called the dealer, the local dealer, um, to get a new radiator cap. Just, you know, trying to go through all the cheap stuff to try and figure out what's going on. You know, we changed the thermostat out. Figure we'll change the radiator cap out. I know a lot of you had commented about maybe it's a water pump, which is a possibility. Um, all I'm going to do is take tension off the belt and just turn the water pump because I just got home, so the truck is still hot. But we'll just turn it, make sure everything seems good. But it's not leaking that I've been able to, you know, pinpoint or see. Um, and, you know, for me at least, anytime I've ever had a water pump go, it's always leaked. So I don't know if a Cummins one's going to be a little different. I know some guys say they go bad and you can't really tell. Uh, but that's just kind of what I've seen. So we'll do that. I also want to check. We do have a boost leak somewhere on the truck. So I... I made something uh, from some stuff at, you know, like a local uh, hardware store. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot, try and uh, fix that boost leak because if we look, and I've looked a couple of times, I can't really find a spot where it is leaking. You know, the, the hoses all seem tight and on the tubes um, and on the intercooler. And it does sound like it's coming from this side. So, I mean, maybe it's a gasket under the grid heater. Maybe it's, you know, the gasket here for the intake manifold, even though it looks fine. But we'll try and use my little home boost tester and or uh, pressure tester, and we'll see if we can get it done. But first things first, we're going to see if we can turn that water pump and go from there. I know my arms are probably in a way, but the water pump spins free, so it's not like it's locking up or there's no grinding or anything like that. So that's good. And our another thing I had heard people talking about. Another thing I had heard people talk about is if you look at the shiny part on your water pump belt, that should be only be as wide as your your belt, like ours is. If you get to the point where this is, you know, going back where it's wider than your your belt that means you got you know the bearings are going or have gone so it's you know your your pulley's starting to wobble that's why you'll get a wider like track mark if you will so ours is the same width as the the belt which is good so we know our water pump's spinning good i did take the filter and all off so that way we could get in there a little better i was trying to you know it's hard with one person to try and turn that tensioner and then spin that pulley especially then trying to get a camera in there but we got her done so on to the main event if you will i said there is a boost leak so i made a little thing up i'm actually going to close the garage door because it is starting to get really cold oh 
All right, so this is what I've concocted to pressurize our system and find our boost leak. So basically this is the gauge. If you can see in there, there's a little red tint. This is what I use for our transmission pressure gauge, our line pressure gauge. So basically I teed that off with a valve so I can hook the compressor up. I can crack it and start filling the system. And then it goes into this rubber, uh, not rubber, but plastic stoppers for like pipes and all. If you, you know, have a big leak in like a six inch pipe. Went to the local hardware store, it's not a very good one. As you can see, uh, not exactly what I wanted. What I really wanted was like a fern coat coupling um, that was like five and a half inches to go over the front of the turbo and then have a piece of PVC inside of that and just have that tapped or whatever. So this thing, I had to actually cut the wing nut here down so it didn't hit the gauge, as you can see. Um, but then on the inside here, I have, I did thread the plastic, which it ended up being thinner than I had anticipated. I saw this, I thought it was a little bit thicker, but a little thinner. So I cut a um, coupling down and then I use that as kind of like a, a additional backing plate. So hopefully it just doesn't rip the threads out um, because we're dealing with like, we're gonna, I'm gonna pump it up to like 60 pounds of boost. I know this 467 was putting out about 50 pounds of boost when I had the gauges in this truck. So, and then I have a hole in the other side here. So we'll just put this together. Like so. Got line our holes up pretty close, and then that should go in there. So normally you shove this in your pipe, tighten down on the wing nut, it will tighten up inside your pipe and should hopefully stop your leak. So we're gonna try putting this in where our our filter and that that metal elbow I guess you call it for the, the little sensor elbow we're gonna put it in there put the hose clamp on it tighten both of them up and hopefully that's enough to keep it in there we're gonna just slowly ramp the pressure up because uh, I have I have my doubts like I said the plastic is not as thick as when I thought it what it thought it was when I bought it um, but as you can see there I do have RTV on everything and I think it's pretty well set up so we're going to give her a go, we'll hook the compressor up, build some boost, hopefully we can find our leak. We'll get some soapy water if we need it, but um, usually the truck, when I get up to like 25 pounds of boost, I can hear it. So that's the game plan. Um, I know it's kind of like a hack setup, but I was in a rush and uh, this is what I came up with. So let's see what we got. Let's see here, put that in there. All right, I don't like the fact that that's kind of loose in there, but oh well. That's nice and tight in there. I'll hook the compressor up, we'll see what we got, and I will definitely be standing out of the way when we press it, press it up. Oh God, this could be bad. Valve's off. Compressor will probably kick right the front on. All right. All right, so that first go around didn't go so hot, I could actually see it start pushing out and we weren't hardly making any um, pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here. This part was holding up good, it was just slipping out of that boot, which I don't know that there's any way to keep it really in there. Um, so I'll start getting it kind of tight and then I'll bring our clamp up. We'll tighten our clamp and then tighten that other thing up some more. Let's see here. All right, clamp 
it's nice and tight. We'll tighten up this bad boy as tight as we can get it. I'm fucking off throw a wrench on that son of a bitch. Let's try this again. Closed. Um. I'm hearing air leaking from somewhere, or is it going through the motor? Alright, as you can see, I have very... very low pressure on it. And we have a leak back here so right on this throttle valve that seems to be our leak um, wonder if that boots fucked up See if I tighten that clamp up. I'll see if I tighten that clamp up, but we're probably gonna have to move that boot. All right, try that. I tighten that boot up and as much as we can get that thing pressurized and I guess I kind of knew that that wasn't you know for pressure um, but I figured I'd give it a go and it's definitely expanded more than I thought it would that's for sure um, but it held and we found at least our one leak so we got it up to like 10 pounds or whatever and all I did was tighten that clamp up I mean you can't see where it's fucked up but it might be in there. I really don't feel like pulling it out tonight. And I'll, I'll drive it tomorrow and we'll see if that cured the boost leak. Um, once again, I know this is not preferred. You know, that we shouldn't have probably been putting boost here. I mean, what I really should have done is waited until I got a good um, rubber coupler that we could put to our turbo um, inlet. You know, a good five and a half inch. I think that's five and a half inch inlet. Something like that. But it served the purpose for tonight, and I know it's a bit of a ugly mess, but hey, it worked um, at least a little bit. Like I said, though, these clamps and all were tight. I just hit it with the 3 8 impact a little bit more and pretty much gave it all the 3 8 impact had. So we'll see if, you know, it'll probably come back. It wouldn't surprise me, but it, it's better than it was. So... I know I'm gonna get ribbed for for doing this, but oh well, it is what it is. It's what I come up with, and I wanted to see if it would work. So there. Since we're that far, I figure we'll give another torque to our exhaust manifold. Make sure that that is good and cinched up. Um, if we do ha end up having head gasket issues, um, I would probably end up trying to pull the head with the manifold on it. But you know. We're already here and it needs done anyhow. So we'll just go ahead, 
give these a good once over and make sure everything's nice and cinched up. I hope you guys enjoyed that little display of how not to check for boost leaks. Um, I just kind of had an idea and I figured I'd see if it worked and it did to a point. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd give it a shot. Really, to do it right, I should have something that is heavier duty go right to the turbo and then have something in that so we can apply a boost and you know get it all the way up um tightening that clamp up i could have just done that from the get-go but like i said i had the idea so i said why the hell not try and show these guys you know a way to check the boost leaks well that's not how not to do it so you can figure out a better way um i know there's stuff you can buy and all that kind of shit but you know that's just not our way here so once again i hope you guys enjoyed if you did Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, which I know it's going to be full of a bunch of, uh, like, what are you doing kind of shit, but oh well, it is what it is. So, you guys take it easy. I'll catch you on the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrenching on your truck.